Guys, things are lining up for Bitcoin. Today, I need to talk about what I see happening for Bitcoin next. I am going to update you on all of my current trades, as well as the trades I am going to take very, very soon. I will update you on my trade here on Bybit. I will update you on what the CEO of BlackRock said yesterday on live TV. I will talk about what the Fed are doing right now and what the Fed are expecting. Guys, a lot of things to talk about today. If you're at all invested in the crypto space, make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So let's get straight into it, guys. So in my video yesterday, I was showing you uh, this chart right here. Not chart, but I was showing you what the market believed the next rate hike would be, like on the next meeting, the Fed meeting, the market actually believed that we were going to have another rate hike worth of uh, 25 basis points. And I said in my video yesterday, whatever comes out of the FOMC meeting, which was yesterday, and I will talk about what they said yesterday. But I said in my video yesterday that I do think that the potential for upside is much greater than the risk for downside. And you can see that uh, since then, since the news yesterday, we've actually had a nice little pump here from the bottom here at 2.6% gains we have had. So that is nice. And uh, one key thing is that not only were we just anticipating us having this pump yesterday, we were actually trading based on this. As you know, I did enter into a trade. And my Bybit trade here, we're entering into specific positions. If you don't know about them, make sure to watch my previous videos. Uh, but uh, right now, the trade is up almost $1,000, which is, I mean, it's not super big, but nonetheless, it's all about the process. I just wanted to show you how to get into a position from a high point of conviction, meaning uh, as we were going down here, I had a thesis. My thesis was that I do not believe that we were going to break down from this red line and orange box. I believe that the $30,000 level would be strong support. And that is also, in fact, the reason why I had another order down here at 30037 And we came pretty close to triggering it right here. We just had to go down another $150. That would have been a massive, massive entry because that would have been for three Bitcoin. And the current trade is only worth two Bitcoin because I was buying as we we're going lower. Uh, but the reason why I was buying as we were going lower is because I knew there was a possibility that we would miss this golden opportunity here at 30,037 because, yeah, strong support going down. So the thesis has played out well. We didn't even come down to the support level before having that bounce. And uh, also on the daily time frame, we were talking about this, how this was big support for Bitcoin, the red line here. And yes, we did come down to the red line and we did have bounce out of this level as as our thesis here on this trade so what am i going to do right now with this trade i'm going to let it ride because bitcoin is going up right now and the strategy is still the same uh taking profit at the previous swing high now what i would normally do is i would take probably 50 percent of the table right now and let the rest ride in profit actually even though it's a small trade that is something that i might be doing right now just yeah, to lock in 50% of that profit. But uh, yeah, I will add this trade to the trading document uh, right here. As you know, I didn't know what the average entry would be because I didn't know how many of these positions we would get filled. But at this point, I'm going to remove these old orders uh, at $30,000. And I'm just going to consider this one trade to ride right now. And I'm going to take profit. Actually, this might not be a bad idea to take 50% of the table. As you can see here on the Bybit chart, we are approaching this level right here, this uh, resistance level. So um, yeah, the only reason why I'm not doing it because it is going to complicate uh, adding the trade to the document right here. So I would ju rather just take the entire position off the table. But all in all, things are still looking good. The only bad things right now on the horizon, there's a couple of things. The first thing is that traditional markets have actually gone down pretty significantly. So you're seeing Bitcoin start to go up while traditional markets are going down. So the bullishness for Bitcoin is continuing. The ETF narrative is continuing. And the closer we get to that date of the approval, uh, yeah, you're going to see some wild swings back and forth. Um, another thing to pay attention to is if you've been watching my videos from yesterday, 
Tomorrow is crucial, the 7th of July, because tomorrow is the deadline for when the Winklevoss twins wants to have a solution from Digital Currency Group regarding the money that they owe them. And they are the parent company of Grayscale, which owns $25 billion worth of crypto. So um, yeah, that is one key thing to pay attention to. Also, today and tomorrow, Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, you're going to have a lot of economic data come out. So that is also going to affect the Bitcoin price. Now, before we talk about BlackRock and all of these things, just quick update here on, uh, we already talked about the trade, but quick update on the trading strategies. And as I'm saying that, we are approaching $31,000. Absolutely fantastic. Now, these trading strategies, um, they've been holding positions and the Bitcoin fast bot just took profit on the orders it had. Ethereum is lagging behind a little bit. It has five orders on the fast bot. So it's looking to take profit on that. The Bitcoin slow bot um, is currently holding nice positions, filled three orders, and the Bitcoin cycle bot filled two orders. Now, what you could do is if your bot have been filling a lot of orders, is you could lower the take profit price if you want. My slow bot take profit price is at $31,000. And my cycle Bitcoin bot is at 31247 So I'm just going to leave that, guys. I'm just going to let it play out. And uh, I do think that that is going to work out very, very well, as we usually see with these trading strategies. So just continuously adding more profits to these trades and just continuously taking more profit or making more profit, I should say, on these trading strategies. So, so far, so good, still going well. I will update you as we continue. And of course, if you want to use these yourself, I'm using OKX, so go down to the description, claim up to $60,000 in bonuses by clicking on this link right here. Click join now, meaning you are eligible for the bonuses. Then you can come down and with one click, you can set up each and every one of these bots right here. Make sure to also watch my trading tutorials at the top to understand what the heck all of this is about. And also, if you want to trade on Bybit, if you want to make individual trades, I'm using Bybit for that. So make sure to sign up for Bybit. Also, as you know, we do have a profitable trade right here, which I am going to update you on as well. Um, now, let's talk about something big. So BlackRock went on live TV yesterday. The CEO, Larry Fink, said that Bitcoin is digital gold. Bitcoin is awesome. It's a hedge against inflation. All of these things that we already know about. Now, uh, just a couple of years ago, he said that Bitcoin was only a tool for money laundering. So see how quickly things changed depending on the narrative. And of course, BlackRock wants to make a lot of money and they are going to make a lot of money because there's going to be billions, if not trillions, going into Bitcoin in the next few years, guys. So yeah, um, that is, of course, something the narrative is playing here and he wants to get that ETF approved. So he's doing more and more of these media stunts. Uh, and um, he has been saying that, of course, the old one, that Bitcoin is digital gold. And just as a reminder, guys, if Bitcoin is digital gold, do I think that Bitcoin is going to reach the market cap of gold? The answer to that is no. I think that, I think that we are going to surpass the market cap of gold severely. But even if we just came up to the market cap of gold, guys, you can see that Bitcoin is right here. And uh, the market cap of gold would need it to 30x in order to just reach the market cap of gold, okay? So yeah, I'm expecting at least a 30x from Bitcoin moving forward. So uh, that is why I'm accumulating Bitcoin every single day. And look at that, guys. Just as I was saying that, we just crossed $31,000. Struggling with it right now, actually. So that should probably mean that this trade is over $1,000, yes. So maybe closing this at a round nice number at $1,000 in profit. Not a lot of money, but as I said, um, the main point was just to show you how to enter into a uh, position with high conviction based on massive support levels, based on high probabilities. Anyway, I digress. Let's continue. So uh, the Fed yesterday, Fed meeting minutes was released and they said that they are expecting a mild recession to start later this year. And this is the same thing that they saw in May. And also, they said that some participants of the Fed already wanted to raise the rate by 25 basis point this previous meeting. Now, here's the thing. The more and more bearish outlooks, they're, they're looking, they're sounding pretty bearish right here. And that is why traditional markets are going down. Um, but the more bearish people are in the markets, uh, the higher the pump potential. So that is absolutely fantastic, guys. 
Um, that is what I got for you, really. Uh, letting the bots do the trading right here. Oh, look at that. We actually took uh, hit the take profit price on the Bitcoin uh, slow bot as well. Um, so that is fantastic. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.